people often say that quality never goes out of fashion. This could be the reason that Harris Tweed has been one of the most famous names in the British textile industry for over 150 years. Harris Tweed comes from the Outer Hebrides, a collection of islands off the northwest coast of Scotland. Due to the harsh climate and rugged landscape, this cloth has always had to be well made and durable. In the 1840s, the Isle of Harris first exported this quality cloth. It quickly became popular and the industry grew. But as demand soared, Harry's Tweed needed to protect their brand. So they developed the Orb trademark. To receive this trademark, the tweed had to be dyed, hand spun and hand woven by people in the Outer Hebrides. These rules still apply today. There are now three mills that make Harry's Tweed. The first rule is that they must use pure wool and nothing else. The second rule is that they must dye the wool, they mustn't dye the finished fabric. The wool is only dyed a few different colours. The mills have to blend these base colours to a specific recipe to make more complicated colours and shades. The weavers create the fabric and the patterns. They have to use old style treadle looms and they must weave by hand. Only highly skilled weavers are allowed to make Harris Tweed. The Harris Tweed Authority then inspects the material. Once they're happy that it is high quality, they stamp it with the Orb trademark. This rigorous regulation and high standard of quality control is why Harry's Tweed is still so popular. Today you can buy Harry's Tweed jackets, bags and shoes. There are even Harry's Tweed phone and iPod covers. Harry's Tweed is a traditional brand that uses traditional methods. But its owners realise they can't look only to the past and so in recent years the company has modernised its marketing. This small industry, based on a remote Scottish island, is now selling fabric all over the world. Many clothing brands are now using Harris Tweed in their products and the material is popular in America Europe and Asia. Japan, which buys around 40% of the company's exports, is now Harris Tweed's biggest market. Thanks to this international demand, production has more than doubled in the last three years. The company now produces more than a million metres of cloth every year. Investment is also coming from overseas. In 2013, a major Chinese textile company became a shareholder in Carlaway Mill, one of the last three Harris Tweed mills. Over the last 150 years, Harris Tweed has had to adapt to survive, but has always stayed true to its high standards of quality and authenticity. Now this traditional local business is succeeding on the world stage. <laughs>